Welcome to the Tech Data Azure video series. Uh, my name is Sean Taylor, a Microsoft Solutions Architect within Tech Data UK. Uh, and in this particular video, we're going to create a virtual machine um, that we're then going to sysprep so that we have our own images to deploy within the um, Azure virtual machine gallery. So the first thing that I need to do with this one is to create a new um, virtual machine. Uh, we're going to do a quick create on this one and in here we're going to call this our TD, oops, TD tenant one sysprep I think I've probably put in a couple too many characters there. Let's call it that one. Um, we're going to destroy it anyway, so uh, we'll give it a decent amount of resources. Admin credentials. And we are in Northern Europe. So that's using the quick create um, as opposed to the um, the gallery which we used in one of the previous videos. That'll take a minute or two cr to create. And then we're going to connect in and uh, sysprep the device. Obviously in a, a normal environment um, you would customize and configure that machine to be specific to your um, organization um, in the effort to reduce the amount of time these videos takes we will just go with a, a bog standard um, image um, however as I say in, in real life please take time to uh, add and customize the virtual machine features that you require So the virtual machine is now created that we're going to sysprep. So we are going to So the virtual machine that we're going to sysprep um, has now been successfully created. So first thing we're going to do is connect into it. Just open that one in. Other account. So we're RDP'd in, um, this will then fire up and give us our Windows Server 2012 R2 server. We're going to check a few things and then after we've checked those we are going to run sysprep. So again, BG Info is telling us a little bit of information with regards to, and you'll notice that the internal IP address has been random select, selected because I used the quick create and I couldn't actually stipulate what uh, network to join it to. So one of those things to be careful of. So we've got our server manager dashboard. Everything looks Everything looks healthy. So again, in the normal environment, oh no, hang a minute, we have got one. Is this the time service again? It is indeed. And we should be able to manually kick that from here. 
Um, in, in a normal environment you would then spend time um, configuring uh, this server uh, exactly as you uh, wished it to be uh, prior to going and um, and then actually sysprepping it but we're going to sysprep it pretty much straight away so in we go with the um, sysprep give it a double click and we are going to generalize it and at the end of the process we want to shut it down because what we're interested in is capturing the uh, the hard drive that's associated with it okay so that's the shutdown in process as it disconnects us so if we just okay that one just wait for the dashboard to update we can now see that the virtual machine that we created has indeed stopped and then what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to capture um, the attached hard drive that goes um, that goes with it so that is our tenant TD tenant 1 Windows Server 2012 R2 master build again we can put a nice long description in there if I want to do so uh, I'm going to do that I'm going to confirm the fact that uh, I have indeed run sysprep on this virtual machine and you'll notice that the virtual machine will be deleted after the image has been captured so just confirming that that is indeed what you want to do so we can now see that uh, that um, has been successful just check any jobs there you go there's the confirmation so if we now go and create a new virtual machine from the gallery instead of choosing from the Microsoft uh, list of uh, images we should be able to see that the sysprepped image that we have just created um, does actually um, exist and then literally we would fill in the rest of the uh, answers I'm not going to do that in the interest of preserving credit and, and time but the, the, the process nonetheless would be the, the same as what we've just undertaken creating the rest of the virtual machine so in this ver in this video we have created uh, an Azure virtual machine once the cre that had been created uh, we then connected in um, in real life we would have configured that uh, appropriately um, we uh, sysprepped it pretty much straight away once the sysprep uh, had been completed and the machine had been shut down uh, we then within the Azure portal um, selected the capture um, confirmed uh, a few details and at the end of the process that was turned into an image that sits within the image gallery that we can choose to create new virtual machines from rather than picking ones from um, the Microsoft list.